In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can have the best gun bunch offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players, both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you have not already subscribed, I would encourage you to do so. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos that can help you get better on offense and on defense in Madden 21. Now in this video, we are talking about how you can have the best gun bunch offense in Madden 21. And if you wanna get my entire gun bunch offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. You can get the entire offense from the Jets playbook where I break down the bunch, the bunch tight end, as well as the trips tight end offset. You can get the entire offense for just $15. And like I said, I'm going to give you a link to that in the description of this video. Now in this specific video, we are going to focus in on the first step to having any successful offense. And that is the ability to have a power play. Now you can have several different types of power plays in your arsenal, but I want to talk a little bit briefly about what is a power play and how you go about developing one. So a power play is essentially a Lombardi sweep. Um, in the old days, uh, when when Vince Lombardi was a coach of the Green Bay Packers, he was talking about this um, this Packer sweep that they were running. It was really just a simple little run play. It, it looked very similar to this play right here, halfback base. But in talking about this offensive play, Lombardi really focused his team on it. In fact, he is quoted by saying this. He says, gentlemen, this is the most important play we have. This is the play that we must make go. This is the play that we will make go. And this is the play that we will run again and again again and again. And that is really the core philosophy behind a Lombardi sweep. It's a play that it doesn't necessarily matter if it's this play or that play. While you can definitely um, have reasonings as to why you would pick one of them, but it's really more about how it fits into your scheme. And the way that this would fit into your scheme is this is something that you want to go to when, again, it is the play that you must make go. So it is the starting point. It's the foundation. It is the play that you want to call. Um, and for me, I would recommend to you that if you're watching this video and you want to run the gun bunch offense, I would tell you that flood is the most simple yet effective play in the entire game. And the reason why is because it forces the defense to have to do something to stop it meaning they can't just call cover two they can't call cover three they can't they can't just call stock coverages and it would be willing to be able to stop this so we're going to show this and the other cool part about this play is it's very very simple to run requires literally one adjustment and i'm going to break that down for you right here now whenever you're running the gun bunch you always want to make sure that your bunch is on the wide side of the field that's kind of the starting point of the foundation of any good three by one offense where you have three wide receivers on one side and one wide receiver on the other side. As a general rule, the three wide receivers are always going to be on the wide side of the field. You want to them to have the most amount of space. And so if I was running this offense and I, and I was on the right hash mark, I would simply flip the play that I'm running. But literally the only adjustment we're going to make is we're just going to put the running back on a little option route. And what you're going to see is we are going to basically just laser any and every defense in the entire game. In fact, if they run man coverage, you're actually going to have several different options at which you can hit. The beauty of this is this option route right here to the running back is super effective against man coverage, as you can see right there. Obviously, if you're running the gun bunch, you want to have your best receiver in the inside slot on the bunch side. So right where Devontae Adams is, you just want to sub him in. And basically what's going to happen is if he runs that out route, as you can see right there, that little out cut is going to consistently be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Another route that really does well against man-to-man -man coverage, especially now that not as many people are running a lot of one-step-ahead corners, this little in route right here to the square receiver is very consistent. Now, you don't want to rat catch it. That's the mistake that I made right there. Obviously, he was able to defend me. What you would rather do is you want to simply, um, you know, again, just pass it to the inside and possession catch it just like that. And you're going to see you're going to catch that nice little dive animation. Now, the next thing that I want to go over really quickly here is I want to talk about what happens whenever they start to drop people just like this right here. So in this example, you're going to see that I'm going to drop the safeties down um, so that they can take away some other stuff. And so what that's going to happen is oftentimes you're going to have a chance to be able to hit that circle receiver, especially if he is faster or just a better overall receiver. But one little thing is if your opponent is shading their coverage underneath or if they're doing this consistently, you could just do a little baby motion right here to 
the circle receiver. And what you're going to see is it's going to kind of glitch out this man coverage, and you're going to swerve catch over the top of it right there. With Jair Alexander being, you know, a very good corner, it is a little bit more difficult um, to get over the top of him with like a table on Austin. But I will tell you that you will be surprised at how consistent this will be. And again, if the more you get him out on the outside there, probably the better it's going to be. That's more of what we're looking for, as you can see, a nice little swerve catch against that defense. Now, you might be asking, as many people do, whenever they're playing the nickel 3-5 through five wide defense, which I would say is definitely the best defense in the entire game, is how do you beat Mike Blitz 3, right? What are some things that you can do? Well, the first one is this right here, this little swerve catch right here to, to the swerve, uh, circle receiver is very unique and specifically for a cover 3 type of defense. The way that Madden has really worked over the last couple of weeks is that this cover 3 bomb is actually super, super consistent, but basically what you want to do is once that corner on the right kind of stake gets out of the way, then you just want to try to get this over the top, and that's more of what we're looking right there. If you get a good swerve catch like I just did, you're going to be able to beat cover three consistently. And so what that's going to do is it's going to force your opponent to have to go ahead and put his corners on the outside in deep halves. Essentially, he's going to have to play some realm of a deep half on the right side to be able to stop this. The beauty then is that you can easily lowball this out route because the out route only goes at 10 to 15 yards. And most people, whenever they start running a lot of Mabel coverage and things like that, they're gonna, you're going to notice that they are going to ideally want to run their Mabel coverage at 5 and 25 yards. They believe that's going to give them the best opportunity. But as you can see right here, a nice little low ball. Once you've cleared the throwing lane over the left side, you're going to have a lot of success. Another thing that you might not realize is what if they don't have a yellow zone on the left side? So what if they just have, or I apologize, on the bunch side, and they just have a yellow zone on the right side? If there's no yellow zone over here on the right, you could just easily just quickly lowball that route. And as you can see right there, you're going to have consistent openings. Now, the beauty of this play is, like I said, it does force your opponent to have to do something to stop it. They have to change what they normally would do. What they normally would do is not going to work. It's not going to be the answer to this problem. The, that's one of the real core foundational principles of a Lombardi sweep. It has to be something, in my personal opinion, that is going to force your opponent to have to you know, at least respect it. Now, when they go to match coverage, this is another popular coverage. The beauty of this is this is a very simple little beater. But as you can see right here, if I run cover four quarters, it's pretty much an automatic one play touchdown over here on the right side. And so then what the defense has to do to be able to adjust is they're going to have to go down there cover four quarters. But the first thing they're going to have to do is they're going to have to put this deep half right here on the field. They're going to have to do that. And what you're going to notice when that happens is R1 is going to become wide open. As you can see right there, your little out route is wide open. Another quick thing about match defense, specifically as it pertains to the flood concept, is your running back route is really, really good against match coverage as well. As you can see, nice little cut to the outside and consistently will be able to beat the defense. This is the hallmark of a Lombardi sweep. And if you're going to have the best gun bunch offense in Madden 21, you're going to need something like this that forces the defense to have to adjust, that forces them to have to do things a little bit differently than they normally would. In all likelihood, what they would basically have to do is have a Mabel coverage that was 15, 5, and 5, and then they would have to have really good user over the middle of the field to be able to take away the in route or maybe the quick throw to the out route the problem with that is then when we start to get into some of our other plays once they start overplaying the flood concept to stop it that is where we can go to some of our other passing concepts within the gun bunch offensive guide and we're going to be talking about those throughout this week but if you want to go ahead and learn the entire gun bunch offensive guide i'm going to leave a link to that in the description it is a very very powerful offense in my opinion it actually takes a lot of work to really master a gun bunch to actually have a system, an intentional scheme where the plays actually do fit together. They're not just a collection of money plays, but rather they are an intentional and thought out guide that can help you. And that's why I wrote the Gun Bunch Guide. For those of you that want to learn how to run the entire Gun Bunch offense, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description and you can get that down below. You can get the entire offensive guide that teaches you how to run the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset for just $15. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. And if you want to get my entire guide, it is down in the description for just 15 bucks.